Hey babes, I'm back with another YouTube video and today I'll be doing a simple ombre set and I also gotta tell y'all what happened as I was doing her nails y'all. Just stick around. So the color that I'm using today is from Nail by John but it's actually two colors that I mixed together because I was low on both of my pinks so I had decided to just throw them together. This is in real time and here I'm applying my first bead and before I start to bring my acrylic down I'm just making sure that all of that acrylic is on top of the nail and after doing that I'm going to make sure that the top of my bead is flat to the nail before I start to bring my acrylic down. This way when I do my ombre I don't have to constantly pack my nude on top of it to give it a seamless look. Now using the body of my brush I'm going to lightly start to bring this acrylic down and as I'm doing this I'm also making sure that I'm wiping the sidewall so I don't have to later do a bunch of filing when I'm finished with my application. To bring my acrylic down very evenly I'm wiping in three motions which is the right side, the center of the nail, and then the left side of the nail. So before I actually started to place my pink acrylic, I did place a small bead of clear acrylic on the natural nails and I do do this to all of the nails before applying any of my colored acrylic. For the next nail, I'll be doing the same thing and I only skipped her ring finger because I did not want my glove to accidentally touch her pinky. It happens all the time when I'm working on my client's right hand and I don't have time. So I'm going to do the middle finger first and then that's when I'll go back to the ring finger and then I'll do the pointer finger because this way I don't have to worry about, like I said, my glove touching the previous nail. Alright y'all, so today when I was doing my client's nails, I had three hours to complete her set, right? So she booked the soak off and she also booked under like, um, you have like a photo or something like, it's a category on my booking website. So normally it's two hours, but if I feel like it's going to take too long, I'll add an extra hour on your appointment, like it's an add-on. But for her appointment, when I seen that it was a choose your price, I didn't see any messages because I got a new phone. So I was just like, okay, well, I'm going to assume since it doesn't say extra time that I don't need extra time. But when she showed me the nail she was getting, I was like, dang, like, I wonder if I'm going to finish because there were actually a bunch of hand painted designs on top of this ombre set. But I wasn't able to record because look, y'all, I was stressed. So as I was doing her nails, I did the soak off super quick maybe in like 40 minutes maybe i mean normally it's about an hour but i was trying to you know hurry up so that was about 40 minutes and then the application and everything with her nails probably took me about another hour so that by itself was almost two and a half hours and y'all told you i only had three hours to do this so i had text my 1 p.m appointment well excuse me my 12 p.m appointment because her appointment was at nine Pretty much saying like, hey, like I, I'm really sorry about the inconvenience or whatever, but I don't think I'm going to be finished. So I told her like, come at like 1230. But then y'all 1230 was coming. I'm like, yo, like I've never had this happen before. Like I've never been this behind. But like I said, because she was getting like hand painted designs, it took me way longer than what I expected. And I was so hurt. Like I was super upset because now it's like, okay I, I don't want to tell you that hey i can't finish your set because i have somebody else coming because it was my mistake in the first place but now for my next client i do have to make sure that because i was so late that you know i come through for her or give her a discount that's just how i am i know some people don't do that but i do and i just felt so bad like i was just like ah just inconvenience all right, before I continue with that, now I'll be doing the ombre and I'm using my Valentino Perfect Nude. Now I'm placing my first bead of my nude acrylic a little bit above where my pink acrylic starts 
making sure that all of that acrylic is on top of the nail and that the top of the bead is flat to the nail before I start to bring it down. Now when I'm bringing this down, I do start at the bottom of the bead and then gradually go up and finish blending out my acrylic. For my last bead, this is my cuticle bead, so it will be my smallest bead, and I will be placing this slightly away from the cuticle area. After placing my bead, I'm going to make sure that the finger is pointed downwards, and I'm going to lightly push the rest of the acrylic into her cuticle area, and if anything were to spill, I'll use the tip of my brush to clean it up afterwards. I will be capping these nails with my clear acrylic so I do recommend that you do the design pretty thin so that afterwards when you are capping this nail with clear to protect your ombre that you created you don't have to worry about making the nail too thick and y'all I'm not gonna lie I did that on the other hand by mistake and I had to file them nails down because one thing I learned in them last three years that I've been doing nails is how to fix some nails if something goes wrong. I will be doing the same thing to the rest of these nails when I'm creating my ombre. I hope this angle helps y'all because I really did feel like I got great angles as I was doing her nails. So I was so upset when I couldn't really record me painting on them because I was just so stressed out y'all. Like I couldn't even believe that that was happening. Like I wasn't able to take my next client until 1 p.m. and her appointment was originally at 12. Keep in mind, this is the first time this has ever happened to me in three years. Like, it's never happened. So this is actually a first. I was just so like, I don't know. Like, because I know what it feels like to come to an appointment. Like, not a nail appointment, but you know, like a hair appointment or something. And they're still working and you just sitting there like, what? Like, I know how that feels. Like, I know how it feels to be provided like horrible like customer service like i know how that stuff feels so it's like when i'm in the wrong about something because in this situation i i messed up because i forgot to tell her to add the extra time for her appointment um it just was too much keep in mind my 12 p.m appointment originally her appointment was some days ago but she had to reschedule so when i seen that i had a three hour opening i'm like okay i can just put her right here like it really shouldn't be any issue um, I seen that the girl had booked, like, um, she chose a photo, but it don't say no extra time, so I should be good. I wasn't good, y'all. I was stressed. Like, I felt so bad. I did end up, like, you know, taking some money off of my next client set for such the inconvenience. And I had two hours to do her nails, but she got something simple, so it took me about an hour and a half, and then I was back on track. So I tried to not let it, like, affect my day because I was just so upset that that happened because, like I said, I know how that feels. So, um y'all you gotta manage your time it's not even about it wasn't time management that wasn't the problem the problem was simply that i forgot to tell my first client to add the extra hour onto her appointment for the hand painted like design so y'all that was my day i really just was trying my best to not be like super nervous because i don't have anxiety or nothing like that but my nerves was like going crazy like I'm trying to finish painting her other hand and now that I know I'm like messing up and somebody's waiting for me outside like my hand is shaky and I'm messing up and I'm having to go back and fix stuff like it was too much like y'all wanted to grow out. like I was just so overwhelmed like because like I said that's never happened before and there's some people out here that don't care like oh I'm sorry girl you're gonna have to give me another hour I'm not finished yet but I've never done that like ever like i know how i feel when my clients be trying to come out late like girl it's not that so i can imagine like waiting outside like hmm, another hour that's crazy i know that there's gonna be a lot of beginner nail techs watching this so i'm really just saying this to just let y'all know that things do happen like i said this is the first time that this has happened to me before but things happen like no matter how good you get or how far you are and i was upset I 
I did like how the nails came out though even though I was under like extreme pressure I still think they came out nice I wish I would have had more time to really sit there and take my time like when it comes to hand painted art y'all like it is very time consuming like I thought I was really gonna be able to finish within the time that I had so I was just so like disappointed and felt defeated when I couldn't knowing that my drawing skills aren't like 100% perfect but I still felt like I was gonna be able to finish in a timely manner but that was not the case also y'all comment down below some video ideas because i have a bunch of videos already recorded for you guys but i would love to know what you guys would like to see next look at the ombre though like it looks extremely good i was so confident after doing this application y'all didn't make any sense i was like yeah i'm about to finish these nails blah blah no that was not the case and the only reason why a part of the thumb application was cut out was because as you guys can see i'm in and out of the camera i don't be knowing how it be happening if my clients be moving back or if my camera be i don't know but i do apologize about that angle Here, I'm using my 5-in-1 bit to seal the cuticle areas, and I get a lot of comments asking about the speed my drill is on as I'm doing this. Y'all, my drill don't got no numbers. No numbers. I just know it's at a low speed. I did leave this part in real time for a quick little second so that you guys can see that it is really not going that fast at all. When it comes to sealing the cuticle area and debulking the nail, I like to go from right to left in the cuticle area to debulk the nail if it's too thick. And for the body of the nail, I'll go up and down. So I'll go down the nail gradually across the nail if I do feel like it's too thick. And I'm going to do that right here. After doing this, I will be using my 80 grit hand file to file the side walls of the nail as well as file the surface of my nails. After filing these nails using my 8080 grit file, I will then go on and use my buffer to remove any scratches that the hand file created. these look so nice i feel like i shaped them so nice and they came out looking really good i really wish i would have been able to get the hand drawn art part but y'all i was stressed but i really do hope that this video helped you guys especially a lot of my beginners and if you do have any questions feel free to comment them down below so if you did enjoy this video please be sure to like comment subscribe and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video